Faith with Fay Ray Designs. And I'd like to share with you today a um, project that I've been working on. And I got the inspiration from another YouTuber. And she did a um, sort of project idea inspiration for managing scraps. And that was Psycho Moms. And since December is almost over, and usually uh, around the end of December, we start thinking about things that we like to improve on or goals we like to set for the coming uh, new year. So I've been thinking about an adjustment goals that I like to set. And one of them is managing my scraps. And um, so I've already started to work on that. And as crafters, we all know that that's one of the nemesis, I guess you can say, that we have are getting rid of scraps. And I know I have a problem with it. And so after seeing um, the video, I decided to try the project. And so I, so far, I like it. And as you can see, you know, I've, I've got a problem with scraps. Why would I save that? Uh, here's a, something else. Why, why would I save something that small? And some scrap crafters, excuse me, don't. They choose a certain size, and if anything falls below that size, they um, throw it away. But I don't. For some reason... I can see potential in this and this so there's my problem so let me show you what my scrap organization is right now this is a storage bin uh, that I got from TJ Maxx and it has six baskets and as you can see the baskets are except for the top two that I've already started organizing um, they're chock full of paper scraps and those are not the only paper scraps that I have I've already started condensing some of the scraps and uh, I, I have a little bit more so, what I usually would do is let me adjust this. Take uh, a page protector, and when I, after I work on a project, see, I can't even open that. After I work on a project, I just throw everything into the page protector and throw the page protector into the bin. Okay. Here's another one. And here's the other one. And here's this one. That's not quite as full, but it's pretty full. And so, as I said, I've already started organizing. And so, I organized some pieces here. And I think I'm going to just take like my die cuts and put them in um, page protectors again. And that way I can just lift the page protector the pack out of the, the basket. I'm going to use a divider there. And in this drawer, I'm just going to house uh, projects that I worked on, haven't found a purpose for it yet or things that I want to um, send to um, my crafty friends for racks and things like that in that bin. So let me show you the project that I was inspired to do. As you can see, I've also been doing some sewing, some quilting, and um, I got that inspiration from Ayani. Uh, she made some rag quilts, scrappy quilts, and um, so I'll show you that in a later 
upcoming video. So this is what I did with the ideal. I made some little scrappy books and this I cut with a Cricut and just to give it some interest added a little nameplate there and so I just took pieces of paper and I just cut them down to a specific size and I binded the book with my bind it all and um, just added different little things that I had laying around this is a um, piece of a envelope I cut it down added it to the book made a little pocket there and a little tag and just added different uh, various items to the book and the next one I worked on was this one and I cut this down to four by four size papers and I made my covers chipboard covers and so I just added the pages just whatever um, didn't I fit the four by four I um, threw it away uh, once I cut it to the four by four that was it whatever was left over was thrown away and so the next one I worked on was this one and I started adding some little ribbon and I used some of my um, die cuts from my Cricut and here's a little paper bag and again just added a lot of different elements to it uh, for my Cricut uh, that was a discard this little cup and this was an envelope I cut it down made a tag to um, go in it that was for my Cricut that was another journaling spot for my Cricut. That was cut on my Cricut. I added some graph paper for journaling. That was cut on my Cricut as well as that. And that was just something that was discarded. And the one that I worked on today, I made a little bit bigger. This is a uh, five by four and a half. And again, I made my covers. And I just cut the pages down and just added them to the book. And so this is, um, for right now, this is going to be uh, my problem solver for my paper scraps. And I can either keep these myself or I can gift them to my crafty friends. And uh, you can add pictures. Um, journaling spots anything you like but I think it's a, a good alternative to um, just throwing your scraps into a bin and thinking that you're going to use them later because you're probably not so why not um, make them into something that you can use or that you can give away so as I keep um, progressing toward my goal of managing my scraps I'll um, show you some future videos, and I hope um, today's uh, video inspired you as I was inspired to get control of my paper scraps.